And I think it's so unique that we have access to our, our water, our nibe, and that's where we got our fresh salmon. And we got so, many, so much access to our traditional foods. Our plants and animals, that's, that's what I uh, view to be the most important part because it's, it's a part of sustainability. I think we're on the water, so I'd say that, yeah, the water is probably the most unique or special thing climate-wise about my community. The important thing about climate change is we don't talk about it in our communities. We hear about it on television, we read it in the news, but it's such a big topic, I believe, that nobody's interested in it. But when it affects us, uh, like at home, you know, even uh, we go to the creeks, the rivers and whatnot, uh, our creeks used to be blue water, we used to see the bottom, and we're, we don't see that anymore. I think it relates to our identity and our disconnect with our identity, but we also are not as aware of um, the effects of climate change because we're not on the land as much as we used to. So I think it's all encompassing. It relates to a lot of other issues and our identity comes from the land. So when the land is sick, it has an effect on us and um, our people are sick. There is a very low level of awareness into what climate change actually is and how it impacts. And so a lot of decisions are being made without the complete understanding of long-term environmental impacts. Uh, we're, we used to be a heavily like um, fish-oriented community, but now our fish sources are being depleted uh, due to netting. And also in the past, um, we previously had factories on our uh, river and our lake. So the um, waste went into our rivers and lakes. The hunting is different. Um, it's fewer. The animals are going farther to find food and so it's getting harder and harder for us to hunt. As well, our berries are fewer and smaller. Our traditional medicines that are harvested from the water and the land also sometimes become polluted and contaminated. I think all youth, could, we could do a lot more in our community and communities along Ontario, we could do a lot more and to actually protect the land and try and conserve a lot more because we use gas boats and a lot of other things. Climate change is not something to talk about as if it were not a person. It's actually a form of nonverbal communication between us and the natural world. And much in the same way that if we had a relative or a friend that wasn't speaking but you saw the visible signs that there was distress and they needed help and that their health was in danger, you would do something. And so that's the shift I believe needs to happen with climate change. We need to understand and see that this is not just a physical thing that we're on. This is a living being that is giving us nonverbal communications loud and clear that there's a big issue. Well, if you look at the concept of the whole global warming system and climate change, it's got to start with each and, each and every one of us. Even if we can make a small change of, of the way we look at things, the way we do things and the way we, we talk about things. Not knowing is the worst thing. We have to find balance. And where is it? I think it's, uh, and we talk about this a lot, even with the government and even with ourselves, unity. We got to do it together. Let's do it together. The more minds at a table, and don't give us this, this is the Liberals, this is the PCs or NDPs or First Nations. This is all of us. We all drink the same water, we all buy the same food in the stores, we enjoy everything off Mother Earth. Let's, let's do our part to take care of it.